Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. My name is April, and in today's video, we are talking drainage holes. Do we love them? Do we hate them? In my opinion, if you use soil with your plants, you're probably looking to add drainage to your pots to prevent root rot. But for people who use semi-hydroponics, I think that we're looking to close a lot of the drain holes. If you guys watched my potting up props video, I tried to seal a drainage hole in this pot, actually, with spackle and it did not ever dry. I don't know if I didn't give it long enough to dry because I did try to water it the next day, but it never dried, so that's out the window. And honestly, I do have a lot of pots that have drainage holes at the bottom, and using Leca and now Lechuza Pond, it's getting harder to use my cute pots, such as ones like these. I can't really use them properly because they have drainage holes at the bottom, so this would not be a pot you could use for Leca unless you were to seal the bottom of this pot. So if you're interested in seeing me seal up some pots so that I can use them for Lechuza Pond and Leca, then just keep watching. So like I said, I do have these, oh my God, that is so dirty. I do have these two pots here that have drainage holes on the bottom of them. And I also want to try to seal up the pot that we had tried to seal up in my potting up props video that never dried. So the first thing you're going to need is plaster of Paris. I already opened mine, but you can find this at Walmart for I think five bucks. I think I got this one at Lowe's for about 10 bucks, which is so annoying. But yes, people use this to like fill holes in walls and things like that. I did try it on a pot before I filmed this video, so I'm pretty positive that it works. Also some water and something to mix it with. I just have this plastic fork. So I found that when you use um, a more watery consistency, it does take a lot longer to dry. So I mixed a little bit more of this into the mixture than required. It was a little bit more thick, but it dried a lot faster. What I'm gonna do first is just fill this up to about there. I mean, the holes that we're filling are not that big, so we don't have to make that much. And then open this milk carton thing. Please don't puff in my nose. And I'm honestly just gonna pour it in here. Don't wanna be inhaling that. But we do want it to be really thick. So this is definitely not enough. <gasps> oh my God, I got on the desk. So I added some more. Oh God, let me stand up so you can see. It's still not the consistency that I want it to be. So I'm gonna add more. I just added a whole lot more. And I'm just gonna mix this up and try not to make a huge mess. This is still too watery. It might not seem like it, but I'm telling you, I tried it. It needs to be thick. This is the one that I put the thin layer in. Oh, it actually dried! Still mixing, still mixing, still mixing. Guys, this actually works and I'm freaking pumped because there's so many pots that I've been wanting to use, such as all of these. Oh my God, my arm hurts. I need a, once it gets thicker, it's so much harder to stir. This is what it looks like. I already have an example of a dried one. So after I show you the process, cause I'm not about to sit around and wait a half an hour and come back and be like, see? This is a consistency that I like. Nice and thick. This is what I like to say. I literally just started doing this today. Let's start with the pot that was a fail. It's still dirty because it's actually stained from soil. How annoying. The most helpful tip I can give you for this is to use a sticker. These are mailbox stickers. And then just put tape on the bottom. I did three stickers for my last one just to make sure it's fully covered. Now we have the bottom of the drain hole covered. And this is what the inside looks like. You can see the shiny sticker back. And I'm going to just pudge this into pudge. I plopped it in the center. Ooh, 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 ooh. I popped it in the center. <laughs> I guess it's in the center. And I have this thing from when I used the spackle last. This is the spackle that never dried. And I'm just going to 
kind of do what I did in that video, but I know this stuff will dry, so I'm really not worried. I'm put a little bit more in there. And now I'm just going to like go over the hole, kind of like that. So it's fully covered. I just don't want this shit everywhere, you know? I whipped it off the best that I can. I'm just gonna put it to the side so that it can dry. So the next pot that we are going to block is this big one. I really don't know what that is inside the pot because I've never had an actual plant in it. Ew, I'm literally leaving it though. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna add a sticker to the bottom first. And I also forgot to mention when you're mixing the plaster of Paris, make sure you mix it in something that you're not gonna wanna use anymore because I just checked on my container that I used earlier to mix the plaster of Paris and it is completely rock solid, the entire container and the stuff inside. So I stuck that on as best as I can. Now I'm just going to plop Oh my god, this is already almost hard to move too, guys. It's stuck already. We gotta move quickly. Maybe I could add more water. <gasps> Was that too much water? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Guys, yesterday on Christmas morning, I was cooking in the kitchen. And I look in the kitchen windowsill because I had the window cracked. And there's a huge black bug. Like, isn't it winter time? Why are there bugs still? Like, I thought I was safe, no panic attacks about bugs for the whole winter because bugs don't ex Is that a bug? Because bugs don't exist in the winter, or at least in my world they don't. So when I saw that big flying ant hornet thing, I literally almost had a heart attack. Like, I, something's gotta give, I can't be this scared of bugs. Froze and I didn't move for like three minutes, just stood there thinking about what to do next. And it was very frightening. I shut the window. I ran and got some kaboom, the foaming kaboom. And I kaboomed the f Anywho, I'm taking some of this. I'm gonna pop it down inside, make sure it gets in the hole. Ooh, that's a lot. It's okay though. I put that little plop in there. I'm actually gonna take a colored pencil. <laughs> And just boop, 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 boop. make sure it goes like actually in the hole. The last thing I want is for it to be sitting on top of the hole. Yay, another hole filled. I'm so pumped. I'm only so pumped because I know it works like 100%. Guys, my new varicosum leaf fully unfurled. And is that not to die for? I know I've been showing it like in every video recently. But it's because I really haven't bought any plants since my Monstera elbow because I'm really trying to just care for the ones that I have and just try to make them live better lives and get them to grow as much as I can. So I'm really excited when I see the plants that I have putting out new growth and my efforts really being shown for. Like, look at that, I grew that! Oh my God, I'm so happy. Bam. Adding water to... The fucking colored pencil. Adding water to the mixture, it did loosen it up for like a second, but it's already, is there any drippies? It's already like back hard again. So, just be careful. So happy, he's closed. You could probably go on the internet and find like the actual measurements to use when you're making this stuff. I just don't do stuff like that, so. You'll probably never get like measurements from me. I'm all set with that. Boop boop shaboop. So like I mentioned, I also did this with another new pot that I just recently got. This pot was only $4. Isn't that crazy? Let me rip the tag off of it so it's gonna be cuter. So I actually filled the hole on this pot earlier. That's why it still has the male stickers on it. But it looks like this one has actually dried on the inside. Yep, pretty dry. So we're just gonna peel the tape off really quick. I just the whole thing just popped out. <gasps> Oh my god, I'm a scientist. Wow, guys. And I plugged it up just like that. I'm so happy. The next potting up props video that I do, I'll use some of these pots just so I can show you that they actually do work. So yeah, this pot used to have a drainage hole, but now I can use it for a plant with Aleka, which I'm so happy. I can't wait to see what plant I put in this pot. This one had like a little tiny dot for a hole. 
but it's closed nonetheless. I'm so freaking pumped, yes. That does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if this did help you with your collection and repurposing some of your plant pots with drainage holes in them. Follow my Mother of Plants Instagram. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next one, bye.